These amazing Cornish hens will give you plenty to be thankful for. Even more thankful for this amazing wild rice stuffing. Oh, these birds are so juicy, they'll rival every turkey in town. <laughs> That's right. Including this one. <laughs> That's right. I'm the <laughs> rival. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's that time of the year when we get to make tons of food yes, and I be love so it. thankful for all the beautiful things in life. So let's get started. Yes. We're going to get started with this incredible, incredible uh, wild rife, wild, wild rice. rice I keep saying wild rice. I know. Well, it's a little bit of that too. <laughs> so we're going to, it's all these wonderful autumnal flavors. So I'm starting off with four ounces of cubed pancetta. Yeah. It's basically Italian bacon. Um, it's just so, so good. So we're going to cook this until it's almost crisp and um, has rendered some grease. Don't eat it yet. <laughs> oh, isn't that the best smell? I love it. It's bacon, basically. It's basically bacon. It's, it's okay. so good. So now I've got a, an apple that I peeled, cored, and I cut into bite-sized pieces. And I'm just going to dump this right in with the pancetta. And we're using Granny Smith apples. Granny Smith, that's right. You <laughs> use whatever your favorite is, but I just love cooking with Granny Smith because she's so sweet. I This mixture of apples and pancetta. I know. I could eat all day. I know. But I, I like to do that because it kind of just softens up the apple a little bit and it makes it just, and it soaks up a little bit of that grease from it's, the pancetta. It's, it's so insanely good. good. Okay, so let's talk about the main component yes. of our wild rice stuffing. Look at this rice. Isn't it gorgeous, all the colors? So what we did was, what I, well, no, Chris did it. I'm just going to tell you how he did you it. You did it. <laughs> We've got. We did it together. Right. In a medium, in a medium saucepan, we're going to uh, add a cup and a half of uh, some good uh, chicken stock. You're going to bring that to a boil. And once you reach that boil, we're going to throw in a tablespoon of butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to stir in a the rice blend that we have. And we're using like a white, a brown, a red, and a wild. It's a blend. It's a blend. Uh, and then we're going to, once you've stirred that in or poured that in, you're going to turn down the heat, cover it up, and let it cook for 15 minutes. And then after 15 <laughs> minutes, you're going to turn off the heat and let it sit for five. And then after five minutes, you're going to fluff it up. Boy, fluff did rice. you fluff it. I could not believe how good you were fluffing it. <laughs> so basically what you're doing is you're just going to get your favorite wild rice package from the store and just follow the package instructions. <laughs> but what's going to tell you to use water, go ahead and use, use some good old some stock. chicken stock. Yeah. I mean, you could use vegetable stock, but I mean, we're cooking with pancetta. Yes. You can make this vegetarian, leave the pancetta out and cook with uh, vegetable stock <laughs> if you wanted to. Did you throw some lemon juice on those apples? Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, so when I I, I, when I cut these apples, I did it a little in advance, and to keep them from oxidizing and getting kind of brown, if you put some citrus on it, like fresh lemon juice, it keeps them yeah. nice and fresh. Look Isn't that, that look so good? The smell is already, <laughs> it's just, I feel like we're at Thanksgiving, oh my gosh, I, I just love Thanksgiving in, in the States <laughs> and in Canada, you name it, wherever. It, you, you, everyone has something to, to be thankful for. So now, <laughs> in this same skillet, we're just going to keep on cooking. I think Canada already had their Thanksgiving. I, well, they, they're always one step ahead of us, <laughs> they are, I tell you. Happy Thanksgiving, our Canadian friends. Canadian friends, we love you so much. And everyone else, we're thankful for you. Yes. Um, okay, so I've got a tablespoon of unsalted butter. Yes. And now I'm going to add to it, um, it's about three stalks of celery, which is about a cup of chopped celery, and then like a medium onion that's chopped. That's, gonna, again, going to be about a cup. And we are going to cook, saute this until it gets nice and soft, and that's about four minutes. Okay, oh, it's smelling so good. So now that went about four minutes, and they got nice and soft. Now we're just going to add in, um, I've got three cloves of garlic. I'm just going to saute this till it's nice and aromatic. All right, and I'm going to add the other ingredients for the stuffing. Yum. I've got a cup of chopped pecans, mm. or pecans, <laughs> and then I've got a half a cup of dried Cranberries. Love it. The pecans and the cranberries. Mm. Oh. You can go just sweetened or unsweetened cranberries. Either way, I love them both. And then I got two tablespoons of sage. Yes. That is Classic. Thanksgiving written all I over. I tell ya. A tablespoon of fresh parsley. Fabulous. Ooh, let's get some more in there. And then I've got a teaspoon of salt. Yep. I love the salt. I do And then too. a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then we've got that stuff coming in. That's right. I mean, is this? I, we told you this. Is, this almost shows up the the hens. Those little hens right there saying, "I beg to differ." Uh, oh, I know. Doesn't that look fantastic? I love okay. it. Uh, 
We've got dogs that are really yeah. excited if you're hearing it. <laughs> they're, they're like, yay, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. Y'all, look at that. That looks so, so good. Wow. I'll continue doing that. Yeah, all right. You start while up, you sort of get. Just keep your hands away from that. Oh, well, wait, I'm you haven't touch, touched right, anything right. yet. All right. Here we've got. Oh. We live near a firehouse, and so every now and then a fire truck goes by, and uh, you can't hear him probably, but Eb likes to run out and howl at them. Ebby! <laughs> all and of it. We're keeping our nephew's dog, too. So we've Hank, got three Hank. dogs going They're on. They're all howling together. All right, Chris. Okay, now it's bird time. Well, make sure that I have this ready. And then I've got to get my salt and pepper ready okay. for you. Now, it's great if you can work as a team as we are yes. because you don't want to handle the birds and then, um, you know, lick your <laughs> yeah, or, <laughs> or do something Yeah, like touch your but anyway, neighbor. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you definitely don't want to do that. You can touch your neighbor. Just anyway, we're going the wrong way. Okay, so these right here are Cornish hymns. They're so cute. Aren't they adorable? They're, they're like a pound and a half each? They range anywhere from a pound to two pounds, and this is about a pound and a half. And these, they're great. Little they're like, boober, they're boober. like perfect one serving per person. I, they're so great. You could do a whole stack of them and oh, serve a whole feast, yeah. but they're really great if you're serving, say, just for two of you or four of you. So we're going to go ahead and season this up. So I've, yes. I've got my hands protected here, yeah. and we want to add, um, I'm gonna add some we've salt. Got some, if there's liberal salt, if you get it, if there are giblets in there, you want to make sure you remove them. And then I've um, got some we're, pepper. We're seasoning the cavities. Yeah. And Let's now, season the cavity. Season it. <laughs> I like my cavities good and seasoned. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I know we're right. really going into a weird place. No, now make sure right. you've got sure. It's because we're making a little chicken. I know. <laughs> so now we've got. We make sure they're breast side up, and you're going to want to. Uh, tie their little legs together yes. just so they're nice and comfy. Right. right. Do we have this the right way? Turn yeah. it over. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we always do that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I've been doing this for how many years and I still like, oh wait, we've got it upside down. <laughs> Breast side up is right here. Um, <laughs> All right. One. Hold on. I'm just going to get these nice and tight. So, okay. And once they're cooked with the string on, yeah. they actually stay that way, yeah. which is Yeah, nice. they do. Okay. All right. One more. We got this right? Yes, yes we do. Okay. okay. We do, we do. It definitely helps if you have your sous chef or your loon, your loon. Um, in to help you with this. Okay. Just make sure you keep, someone's got clean fingers. Yes. Okay. Watch out, I don't want to touch you. I know. Okay. okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay, so All now right. we're going to. Um, you're going to get the other. Um, you're oh, gonna... we got to throw some stuffing in there, Chris. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there it is. Okay, there you go. <laughs> We almost forgot the most important part. I know, I know. You know, and the thing is, you're one. You're probably saying to yourself, "That is a heck of a lot of a more? stuffing." Yeah, go ahead and stuff her. Um, and the thing about this is that this is this stuffing is great to serve on the side. I think all this really does is it just adds flavoring to the to the birds as they cook. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, you're gonna have plenty left over, which is great. You can serve serve it on the side. And you've probably also heard there. that there's there's some concern about stuffing a turkey with stuffing and then baking it. You're where you're gonna run into a problem is if you're putting a stuffing in there that has, say, An uncooked egg, egg. Um, uh, yeah. and also or anything uncooked. And yeah. because turkeys are larger, the 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 um, I'm gonna keep this. If spoon there's any out bacteria, here. it could get into that uh, dressing. This is fully cooked. Everything is okay. You don't have to worry about this. Okay. All All right. A little bit of a setback there, but that's, that's okay. 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 Stuff before you tie. There you go. <laughs> right. Now, All right, Chris. Why don't, I'm gonna get these little things cut off, and you grab that. I'm gonna grab this. Hold one second. Let me just get the the rest of these cut off. They are making a lot of racket out there. That's those. okay, they're having fun. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, hold on. There That's okay, go. even okay. if they're in there. All right, bring me that. Okay. Fabulous, can you put those hens yes, on there yes. for me? Breast side up, please. Come on, hen. That one's got to turn over. Oh, and tuck in those legs, too, or the wings as well. Yeah. Okay, so those are nicely tucked underneath <laughs> tuck the bird. Tuck those wings, tuck those tuck wings. Tuck them in. Because you don't want them to burn. No, that, that helps them cook evenly. And, um, okay, I'm taking my gloves off Take now. your gloves off. Now, this is... Oh, little, he's taking his gloves off. We're going to add some water to our uh, baking dish. What we recommend is just get a nice large roasting dish. Um, and if you've got a rack like this, it just helps 
Um, you, you don't want, really want to put the birds directly onto the pan because then they're going to bird, burn. What the water does is it creates some steam, which helps make them nice and juicy. It also, as this, as the glaze that we're going to make, um, starts to drip into the to the pan. That pan, if there's no water, it can smoke and get really smoky and, and can be a problem. All right, do you okay, want my hands are nice and clean, salt so I'm going to, So that was some melted butter. I just the, love this melted butter. The, I know you do. Don't drink it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> melted butter that he liberally brushed all over the the tops of the bird and now we've it's hit it with some salt and pepper and he's gonna hit it with a little more salt <laughs> we've got our oven nice and hot at 425 degrees i've got my rack in the lower third and we're going to let it roast now for 20 minutes oh, before we it. add on that pork oh, okay and there we go She's in! Yay! All, All right. right, now it's time to make that incredible port glaze. Oh, y'all, this, <laughs> this glaze is amazing. Okay, so this this is perfect. You can make this <laughs> while the first round of the, the first 20 minutes because then we're gonna glaze it and let them finish off in the oven. So I've got a medium sized saucepan that I'm putting over medium heat and I'm just gonna start bringing over my goodies. And I um, wanna clean up. Would you do that, please? That would be good. So, <laughs> y'all, I... I <sighs> This, Golly. This stuffing is the, is the bee's best. knees. So we've got two tablespoons of melted butter. And this is the bee's knees too. Melted, it's just too much. Melted butter. <laughs> and then we're going to add a cup of good quality port. Um, if you can't get your hands, and it doesn't have to be super expensive. Um, this is ruby port. Uh, there's also tawny, but I just love going with ruby. It's got a nice the fruity color flavor. Too. This is a quarter cup of sugar. The color of the ruby is really pretty too. I know. This, I'm, I love bringing my ingredients. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have oh, no, it's, I'm not complaining to you. <laughs> Are this, you sure? Uh, well, sort of. <laughs> not really. This is three sticks of cinnamon. This is ginger. I love ginger. This gives such a depth of flavor. This is like eight uh, slices of ginger you don't have to I chop got it right anything. Here. Oh, okay perfect and then we've got 12 uh, whole cloves and then we've got I took six cloves of garlic and I cut them in half and what we're going to do wow we are moving right along aren't we I'm telling you I'm ready to eat it's <laughs> we got so much to be thankful for so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this come to a boil <sighs> which won't take too long. It's gonna cook that alcohol out and then we're gonna let it simmer um, um, kind of like medium high for about 15 minutes and it's gonna reduce down and get syrupy and just per the perfect glaze that we're gonna put on those birds. Okay, so now you see this took about wow. 15 minutes. I've already taken it off the heat. Um, it, it, it simmered on medium, um, pretty nice simmer uh, for about 10 to 12 minutes and it just reaches this consistency wow. of like a, a glaze. And now, um, that. This makes it easier just to strain it. Uh, you know what this stuff? Uh, it smells to me like glue vine, which is spiced <laughs> spice wine. When we lived in Germany, we drank yes. so much glue vine during the holidays. Um, it's wow. mold wine, and that that's amazing. Okay, look at that. I know. I now the, the birds have been going for 20 minutes, and um, are we ready? Can we I pull are, them out? You, we let's pull them out. All so right. now. Uh, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start basting these. And they're gonna go for about another 40, 40, no, 35 to 45 minutes. How are they looking? Ooh, they're, oh, getting they're, looking little, good. they're getting a little crunchy on top. That's there we the go. way we like it. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to lower the oven to 375. Right on time. There we go, people. Those look at those. Good. But now we're really gonna make them look beautiful. You take a brush and I'll, I'll take, take a brush. brush. You take a brush. Let's brush away. Oh, and it's gonna give it this beautiful amber color and this flavor that is out of this world. I love this. Look at I that. I do too. Now, do you save some of this for later? I, well, I, you could drink it if you wanted no, to. No, I mean, do you like put a little extra on? Well, yeah, so we're gonna, we're cooking? gonna, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we're gonna baste every 10 minutes. So like I said, this goes for about another, we, we want the internal temperature. You want it to get it, definitely you want to make sure this is good and cooked all the way through. So I like to get it all the way up to like 170, even 175, um, because it's 
when you get that probe in there, you want you just want to make sure the entire hen is fully cooked. Um, so is that to be, good? that's good. So we're is gonna, that gone down? It, it has. Okay. So we're gonna like I said, every ten minutes we're gonna take this these birds out and let them baste. Make sure you have some foil handy because it's if you've ever <laughs> cooked a turkey or a bird, it's easy for them to burn in one spot and not the other. And um, so when they start to get really kind of too brown, then just take off a little piece of foil and cover it. It's great because the, the glaze is good and sticky, so the foil will <laughs> stick to it. So, okay, we're getting so close. All righty then. Yes. Come on. Smells amazing. It's time to give thanks. So let's talk about what we're gonna give thanks for. So we, every, like I said, every 10 minutes after we put it back in the oven, we took it out. You don't have to take it out, but I like to take it out so I can really examine it. <laughs> and we basted it with uh, more of that, um, that um, the pork glaze, the, the glaze, yeah. And you'll see as it sits, that glaze gets even thicker, which is even better, and then put it back in. Now really keep an eye on it. Um, you know, you resist trying to open the oven too much, but if you're starting to see brown spots, get a little piece of foil, just stick it on. Yeah, there and you kind of do looking that like a science project. It does. <laughs> and uh, within about, I'd say, 45 to 50 oh. minutes, it does look like wow. a science fair project yeah. right now. <laughs> but I promise you, you see, we did this in like every time we took And then after probably the third basting, you don't really need to baste it anymore. Hot, hot, hot. Oh. Oh, my. Isn't that Oh. Beautiful? That color, that port uh, just gives it that, oh. God, that gorgeous. Wow. I know. You, 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 and you could do like 10 of these if you're serving 10 people. I'm telling you, you serve this to your guests. And we've got that. Gorgeous. Um, we've got that amazing. Um, now, and I know, Wesley, if I can do this without. Without uh, ruining everything. Uh, spilling it. Now. Oops. Lift it up. Now, I don't know if we <laughs> there wanna. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, here, I got it. <gasps> Y'all. That is beautiful. Look oh, at this it's, little I can creature. already tell it's so, so, so juicy. This little hand. I know. Um, <laughs> You're going to be good in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, do you, that is picture perfect, y'all. It is. Now, you could you could heat that uh, dressing or the stuffing up, absolutely no problem, or serve it, um, see it at room top. temperature. And um, you and you could, obviously, you don't have to make a bed. You can, I'm just talking to kill time. Look at anyway. the color, you guys. The and color is amazing. You probably want to, when you serve it to people, go ahead and oh, yeah, clip those. Off. Oh shoot, Chris. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. We're Let's, just gonna we're, we're gonna dig show right them in. how deliciously tender this is. <gasps> oh my! I just squirted juice all over the. Oh, oh wow! wow. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh! I just salivated this. Yeah, There's I so much here. juice. <laughs> yeah. There's so much juice in here. So I let this cook. Like I said, I let it go until it was like 175 degrees. Typically when you cook something, you let it go to about 165, something, poultry. Um, but I wanna make sure these are nice and cooked. And as you can see, Ooh. they are <gasps> guys, amazingly look juicy. And look at all that, oh. Okay. I gotta get some of that skin. Oh, Chris, don't, I gotta, rem let me get the skin too. I know, there, you, gotta get, you gotta get some skin on the game. I got skin, I got skin. I'm just tasting this right now. Mm. Okay, hold, hold Chris. I'm using my wrong hands. Because, <laughs> you know, my right hands. Yep. <laughs> then use your right hand. There! Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I got it. Okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> I'm telling you. You may never do a turkey again. No! Cook a bunch of these little guys. Oh! And they're, and they're so elegant, and they're perfect, oh. and they're festive. And oh. if there's just two of you, if there's just one of you, oh, then come on over if there's yeah. just one of you. But oh. I'm going to sit here and eat this. Dressing. Oh, you God. Yeah, the dressing. I'm going to devour this. Eat this like a, a <laughs> rabid dog. Like you're a, like a, <laughs> a starving pilgrim on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I need to go put on my patent. Or no, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Leather cheese. Yeah, my pan leather cheese is a little buckle. You guys, make the little Cornish hens because they are amazing and they are 300,000% wow. leather I'm so thankful. You know what we're thankful for? We're thankful for you guys. I mean, you brighten so our day thankful. every single day. We can't tell you how much we love you. We just we, we really do this do. because we love you and you give us so much joy. And we hope that you have the most blessed holiday season 
you, you have lots of friends, you have lots of love and lots of joy. And um, make a dish or two that we've thrown your way and let us know how it turns out. Exactly. All right. All right I'm just going to pick this up. And just eat it. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. We love you. Yay. Happy Thanksgiving.